Cambridge, Massachusetts is not usually known as a haven for large mammals, except here at the Harvard Natural History Museum on Oxford Street. Its Great Mammal Hall, first founded in the mid-1800s, was renovated several years ago. We caught up with the museum's curator in mammalogy to discuss exactly how the staff keeps a 19th century museum relevant even today. The Great Mammal Hall, in my mind, is the best piece of the Museum of Comparative Zoology. It really captures the feel of the museum when it was first founded. So it's the piece of the museum that still has, really has that Victorian feel um, to it. One of the reasons we decided to renovate um, the Great Mammal Hall um, was in part because it just had pretty much been in the same state more or less for the last 150 um, years. For the most part, many of the specimens are the same specimens that were here when the museum was founded um, back in around 1859. Even though it's an old museum, you can learn new things um, by even just walking into the um, Great Mammal Hall. The way that the mammals are um, arranged represents something about their um, evolutionary history. So species that are more closely related are physically closer in the museum space itself. Part of my job as a curator is to make sure that that information about the relationships among species is up to date. And over the last several decades, with the advent of molecular methods, we've learned a lot about um, the, the more sort of details about the relationships among species. And so as part of an undergraduate class, actually, we um, renovated um, and updated uh, the relationships among those species, which in part involved actually physically moving specimens that, for example, were thought to be part of one group to the other side of the hall because molecular uh, data has revealed that in fact they're more closely related to um, another group. Recently in the, in the big renovation a few years ago, um, we've labeled now all the specimens that are of um, concern or threatened or vulnerable. Um, that information is listed on the tag. Another interesting thing is color patterns. So um, among these mammals you'll notice that many of the mammals are um, sort of brown in color, and often this is due to crypsis where they blend in with their environment. And of course, there's some um, great exceptions to that where um, mammals have incredibly interesting color patterns like giraffes and zebras, and so you can see that up close and personal. Often this is the only opportunity for um, people to see these animals. It's, it's great fun to go in there and see little kids um, getting excited to see uh, different species that they either haven't seen or will never see. I hope um, everybody takes advantage of the sort of hidden gem on Harvard campus.